influential Christian leader in Alexandria, Egypt, named Arius. Arius developed his theological views in ways that he thought were perfectly orthodox, perfectly true and correct and biblical. His view about Christ was that Christ was God. Christ was a divine being. He was the Son of God and he was God. But how could Christ be God if God was God and there not be two gods? And how could God the Father be Almighty and Christ be Almighty if they're both Almighty, then neither of them is Almighty. Only one, of, only one being can be Almighty. And so Arius maintained that in eternity past, God the Father alone existed, but he wasn't the Father yet. God, God begot a son. God, in effect, brought Christ into being as a second-level divinity, a secondary divinity. He wasn't equal to God. Nobody can be equal with God the Father. He was a secondary-level divinity. There was a time before which Christ did not exist. In other words, Christ came into being at a certain point in time as a secondary divinity lower than God the Father. Christ then, through the power of the Father, created the universe, and Christ became a human being to die on the cross. That was Arius' view. This view was a popular view throughout much of Christendom. The basic view had been around for a long time, although Arius formulated it in a particularly persuasive ways, and it, it, after Arius' day, people continued to hold this view. His bishop in Alexandria was a man named Alexander. Alexander took exception to Arius' view. In Alexander's view, there never was a time when Christ did not exist. Christ had always existed. He wasn't begotten by God at some point in time. He had always been begotten by God. And he wasn't a secondary divinity. He was equal with God the Father. God the Father and God the Son are completely equal in every way, and they always have been forever and ever. That was Alexander's view. 